Nako Gimba is a very social person, very lively, hardworking. I'm a go-getter. I could say that with all sense of humility. I love to make new friends. I'm the third from five children. I'm married with four children, Grace, Jaden, Zara, and Dawn. How I cope being a mother, sister, wife, student, and an employee. I would say basically it's the help of God. For me, sometimes it actually can be very tiring, but just, you know, the Lord just gives me the strength to do stuff, to go to church. Even though I come back late at times from work, I still try and make time and go, even if I don't stay all through. It's just the Lord that helps me because it's not easy. I journey to school every weekend. I come back, there's homework to do with the children. And I try to do that with my kids. For me, I think the central message for my music is um, the love of God. Growing up as a child, I used to wonder why we had lame people or people that didn't really, in my own eyes, look so good. And then when I begin, when I got into the church and I begin to understand the love of God and the love he had for humanity, I just understood that everybody is different. is God, but in a different way. That's another version of God. God loves us irrespective of tribe, irrespective of religion, but he just gives us that free will. Because if he so wished from the beginning, he would have made all of us the same. My music should be for everyone, old, young, middle age, teenagers, young children. Because I think it's just talking about the love of God. That was the only reason why Jesus came. So I think everyone can listen to my music. I see myself ministering with the likes of Solomon Lengi, Sinach, Nene, Ada, Messi Chimo, uh, Frank Edwards, Tim Godfrey, Adi Eze, Donny McClurkin. Presently, I'm working on an eight track album, but I think one of we'll just do a single first. That's for Yaesu, the one that um, Solomon Lengi is featured in. The producer I'm working with is Mr. Ebenezer Eriemi, very wonderful person. From the first time I met him, he was very accommodating. He listened to me. He listened to songs I brought to his studio, and when I was going to understand the cost implication of what we're doing. He just told me something. He said, um, don't worry, we'll work out something. He told me something else. He said, be an original. Don't try to be like someone else. Because if you are someone else, whenever people hear you, they'll be like, this is so, 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 and so, you know? So he told me, he said, just try to be yourself. And for me, that was, that was good. I enjoy his advice. I love his skill. Very humble guy, he loves God. Very patient with me. So he's the one that did the job, all tracks, all eight tracks. Yaesu is coming out soon. Video alongside audio. So I really want to appreciate everyone that has been following my channels, my YouTube channel, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Please don't forget to share, keep sharing and sharing. Very soon, it will be a dream come true for all of us. Without you guys, there's no me. Thank you, Pastor Tora. Thank you to my family members. Thanks to my siblings. I don't take it for granted. For the times I went to the studio with my children, you guys were wonderful. I truly appreciate you. Solomon Lengi, I am truly grateful. I can never repay you for this love shown to me. Thank you so, so, so much. Please follow me on my um, social media handles displayed on the screen. It will be my pleasure to attend to you whenever I can. Please just feel free whenever you see me in town. By the love of God and the grace of God, we'll always relate. I'm open, my number is on the internet. Please feel free to call me, help me share, keep sharing and sharing. There's no me, like I said, without you. So let's make this dream come true. Thank you so, so, so much. I truly appreciate you. God bless you.